And because of the pandemic, many people experienced isolation, which led to depression. That's why local education ex experts are reminding parents to check in on your child's mental health. Our Ashley Gonzalez spoke with those experts and shares what their schools are doing to remind students that they are not alone. This can give you a superficial that everything is okay, but it's not okay. That's Dr. Maria Rodriguez Casas, the superintendent of Falfurias ISD. She says since the pandemic began, she's seen a major spike of depression in her students. We have had multiple outcries and it hasn't stopped. We also have had issues where they are self-cutters. They cut themselves from high school, junior high, and even elementary. She says the health and safety of students is her number one priority. And since the uptick of outcries, Falfurias ISD applied for a $100,000 grant that would give additional social emotional support for kids. And it was approved. We are providing licensed professional counselors. We, we in-house, in we are contracting those services. The grant is also providing a supplemental curriculum that focuses on ways students can cope with emotions and learn how to be resilient. Meanwhile, over in Ingleside, school counselors want to remind students and parents there it's time to normalize talking about subjects that might be uncomfortable to talk about. Asking that question, are you thinking of hurting yourself? Are you thinking about killing yourself? You know, can we talk about that? And just making that conversation less taboo and more you know, talk to me about it and let, let's have an open, an open conversation. Just like when you have a cold or you have a cut, this is a cut that is happening in your heart and in your mind, but you still need medical attention. They say it's important to know when to ask for help and asking for it is okay. Ashley Gonzalez, 3 News.